Okay, so we're back here at Scott Field Day and I'm with Alistair Muir. And we're ta this isn't actually um, lamb's quarters that you're standing in. No, this is, this is quinoa. This is the South American pseudo cereal uh, quinoa, which we're now growing in Western Canada. And so tell us a little bit about sort of, let's start with the health benefits of quinoa. Well, uh, quinoa is one of uh, a small group of, of grains that is gluten free. So uh, the, the hardcore market for quinoa is our people who are gluten intolerant or gluten insensitive, uh, sensitive. But it's, it's a balanced protein. It's, it's a good, uh, healthy uh, option uh, instead of rice or other um, uh, cereal type products in your diet. So there's a lot of ways that you can use it. Um, you can use it as a side dish. You can, uh, you can make pasta with it. You can, uh, we have flakes that you can make a breakfast cereal like oatmeal with it. Um, there are, uh, we have a puff product, a bit like a Rice Krispie that you can put in your granola bars or have in your breakfast cereal. So there's a, it's, a, it's a healthy grain and it has uh, all of the essential amino acids in it and it's just uh, a nice alternative for your diet. And so it's obviously being grown in Saskatchewan now. Yes. What, how does the contract work in, in the prairie provinces? Well, r right now, because this variety that we're standing next to here is actually developed by the company uh, and uh, it, it, it's owned by the company, we haven't uh, uh, unfortunately had any um, massive infusion of public money into developing this industry. So the, the quinoa right now is grown under a total production contract where we provide the seed to the farmer uh, on, under contract and then we take back all of the seed um, that the farmer produces in the fall and we take it to our facility in Saskatoon and clean it and process it and then sell it both uh, into the retail market and into the food industry market to companies that make good things like granola bars and breakfast cereals and all things like that with quinoa in them. So producers are paid based on the clean seed amount? Yeah, the, the producer is paid based on the clean seed amount that they deliver to us. And what are those prices looking like right now? The contract price this year was 65 cents a pound clean seed. And what is it to seed it? Like how much does it cost to buy seed? Uh, the contract uh, that we offered this year was $40 an acre and the farmer pays half of that on signing the contract and then the other half is paid when they make delivery of the seed. So it's deducted essentially from the first check they get for when they deliver the seed to the company. And what sort of yields, I guess, would you see with this? It's a very tiny seed, isn't it? It's a very small seed. Um, the, the yields are highly variable and it really depends on whether or not the farmer has weed problems, whether the weather cooperated, but we've seen typical average yields the last few years of between six and eight hundred pounds an acre, clean seed. But um, we know um, we have in the past seen yields as high as 2,000 pounds. We're not telling farmers that that's what they should expect every year, but we know that um, good management and uh, reasonably cooperative weather, they should easily be able to get 1,000 pounds an acre. Do you foresee any uh, herbicide resistant um, cultivars coming down the pipeline? Um, not in the traditional sense that people are used to thinking of a GMO solution. Um, we are looking at um, finding natural uh, sources of herbicide tolerance because we know that for large scale conventional production, uh, farmers are going to need weed control options. And so broadleaf weeds um, are going to be, are a problem they're going to continue to be a problem um, and even if a farmer starts out with a very clean field they still need to have that option and so that's something that we're working towards um, it's going to take a little while before it becomes uh, a reality but it's it's uh, it's i think something that will really transform this industry you know we have a good uh, promising lead in that direction and uh, we just have to go through the regulatory process to get uh, approval uh, for farmers to use this, this, this particular chemical. So the cultivar that um, was produced by your company, um, it's developed in Canada? So it's developed, yeah, our yeah it's, it's, it's developed, uh, uh, it's especially selected for Saskatchewan growing conditions. And it's the first uh, registered quinoa cultivar in North America. And
Is it available now? Uh, yes, that you know we've obviously been increasing the seed, and um, uh, we've been, we will be um, growing using this as the main cultivar that farmers grow uh, going forward. Do you foresee more farmers planting this? Uh, this year, we had to turn away about half of the growers who wanted to grow quinoa because we simply didn't have enough seed for them to plant. So um, yes, the interest has really taken off this year and we hope that uh, most of those farmers have a good crop this year because I think um, certainly uh, we have uh, um, customers who, who want to buy the, the crop from us and it's, so it's uh, uh, very exciting for us. Alistair, thank you so much. You're welcome.